Recently, I had trouble starting my bike. I tried the Kickstarter, but it was jammed. Initially, I thought the worst, but then I had a couple of deep breaths and then started to fault find the problem, which led me to the starter motor and flywheel. To get access, remove the ignition cover and put the bolts in order somewhere where they won't get mixed up, because some of them are different lengths. First remove the torque limiter and see if the starter motor turns freely. If it does, the problem will more than likely be the free wheel bearing at the back of the flywheel. Move the piston to the top dead centre, then remove the copper washer on the engine locking bolt. Screw it back in, this will stop the flywheel from spinning when trying to remove it. The intermediate starting gear and fly will come off together. So remove the circlip and spacer on the intermediate starting gear. Now attach the fly wheel puller to the fly wheel and remove it. And look at that, this is where the bearing rotates on. It has been damaged and the bearing will also need replacing. Remove the old flywheel bearing by using a punch and tapping through the hole in the flywheel. Then install all the new parts. Tip. Put the bearing in the freezer for one and a half hours and heat the mating part up so the bearing goes in easier. Put the free wheel gear into the bearing to double check the rotation. And I have put the bearing in the wrong way. So how did this happen? 
In the service repair manual, the picture shows the back of the flywheel with the flywheel gear installed, and the wording that goes with it is very confusing. So how do you tell if the bearing is the right way? On my bike there is an arrow on the flywheel which shows the direction that the bearing must lock, and the other direction the bearing is free to rotate. Another way to tell on my bike, which is a KDM 350EXEF, is the bearing brand and part number faces outwards from the back of the flywheel. Now clean all the parts before they get installed. And this happens in the reverse order from when it was pulled apart. Just remember to install the flywheel and intermediate starting gear together and you might have to slightly rotate the gear to align it onto the shaft. Torque all the bolts and install the copper washer back on the engine locking screw. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.